Okay, so before we continue, I actually want to do something else because a lovely viewer by the name of Brian5682 pointed out that we actually missed something in the Islands of Mist. Pun not intended. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set down a Lloyd's Beacon here and then cast Town Portal, which will take us straight back to the Islands of Mist because at this point the Town Portal spell takes us back to the last place we visited that is eligible, which in our case, luckily enough, is the Islands of Mist. And then we can use Lloyd's Beacon to get back to Bootleg Bay. So we're just going to do a quick detour. And this is what he pointed out. He pointed out that there is a hidden item in one of these church pews, which I did not know. Let's see. Oh, nothing here. Hmm. Ah, there we go. So it is an Ice Bolt spell. It is either that or supposedly a staff. Um, this is the first time that I actually hear of it. So there might be some other items, I don't know. But thank you so much Brian5682 for pointing this out. Making this uh, playthrough even more complete. Okay, so let's go back to Bootleg Bay with Lloyd's Beacon. And we are going to be doing the Temple of the Fist. It's a very quick dungeon to do. But, you know, it gives us some experience, so that means it's good to do it. We were... Okay, let's cast Precision. Because Precision still kind of helps us at this point. Then we're gonna go with Heroism and Bless. Hey, there we go. So this is a very, very short dungeon. I almost feel like it's one of the shortest. I know which one is the shortest, but this one's not it. But it's still very short. No barrel? Nothing in barrels? Okay. That's odd. Baquette. Good. Oh. So it's not super tough, um, and you can actually just run past the more difficult enemies. You flick this lever here, or torch to get access to the switch. There's a nice little hint on you on the floor. Hint on you, hint for you on the floor. Okay, so let's see. Skulls seem to sap your might, I have no idea. Oh. Yeah, okay, that works. I knew there was something that happens here. But okay. Not too much of a problem. Still hit quite... Quite a lot of... For quite a lot of damage. Let's heal... Or cure weakness. Okay. Heal a bit, and we're actually going into the last room already. Like I said, it is a very... or the last two rooms. It is a very short dungeon, as I've said. Got it. Aha. Magic arrow. We okay, good. We can learn that. Letter from the Temple of Ba... I wonder if... I don't think this is connected to a quest. Okay. We're gonna try and lure them. Or actually, you know what we're gonna do? We are going to face roll them. Oh, there's another one. Couple of master monks. Ooh. Turned out they were a bit more challenging than I thought. But 
But this should be it now. There we go. Not too hard because you can backtrack luckily, but as you can see, at this point Master Monks can still be very annoying. Plus they can, you know, inflict... Um, they can inflict weakness, which is even worse, honestly. It just makes you hit like a wet tissue in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, okay, so... I access the screen by going through the buy menu, which is a weird thing. That I've actually... Uh, I've actually learned this... Mm, I want to say not too long ago. Like, a couple of years, which, in the grand scheme of things, I've been playing this game for... Well, close to 24 years now? But basically how you enter your character screen is you go through the buy menu, which is really strange, and then you can sort of swap your uh, items around. Okay, do we need anything? I don't think so. Dark hammer. Oh, we pretty much have everything that we want. What you see is all I have. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Come again. No How problem. You How you doing? Protection from electricity. Half damage from oh. missile attacks. Yeah, I kind of have better things at the moment. Okay. So, we destroyed the crystal, and that was the quest for this guy right here. Easy quest, easy money. That's why we did it. Easy money, easy experience. We can actually get one more level. I wonder, are we able to train here? No, we aren't. Of course we aren't. Okay, that's fine. Now there is one more dungeon that we will be doing. That one's going to be a bit more lengthy. But not not difficult. Not difficult. The Temple of Sansa is a very easy dungeon, if a bit confusing. So I might have to, you know, run around a fair bit. Because I don't do it often, but, you know, this is 100% run through the game, so let's do it. The voice cracked a bit there. So we're gonna go in without any specific buffs. We're just Wizard Eye and Torchlight. This place is filled with Witch Doctors, it's filled with snakes, and that's pretty much it. So as long as we are, you know, on point with our Okay. As long as we are on point with our cure poisons, we shouldn't really have an issue with this dungeon. Cannibals at this point aren't really a problem. I mean, we've killed plenty of them while we are do while we were doing the uh the bootleg bay cleanup, I would say. Hello, doggy. Okay. So, right here, if you want to avoid damage, you have to sort of walk across these moving kind of tiles. But, you know what, you can also jump across these. So, not really a problem. Okay, so the reason we are here... is to flick these switches which are actually kind of hard to see in numerous cases so you have to be a bit careful because the hallways are really narrow and the minimap gets all gets all weird basically confusing um, and we're going to rescue I think sh hmm, is it I think it's Cheryl I think her name is Cheryl but I'm not I'm not sure. Basically, it's a quest where we have to rescue, you know, a person. And that is one of, uh... 
four request NPCs that we have to rescue in Mind Magic 6, I think. And as you can see, not too challenging. I don't think these uh, crates serve as chests either. No, I think chests in this dungeon are basically chests, so... It's a very easy to sort of, you know, skip dungeon or miss dungeon. It's absolutely not necessary to go here. Because it doesn't really offer that much in terms of loot. Okay, I'm not gonna be picking those up. Because I don't want to ruin my reputation. Wait, let's keep that here. That's fine, let's cast an enchant item on this. Hit points plus six. It's actually kind of good, but we don't really need it. Okay, so... As you can see, we were so this was supposed to first go sort of down by using a different lever, uh, but there's sort of like a gap here that you can you can still you know flick the lever by jumping. So that's what we did. Okay, and there's a pitfall down there. Not really too much of a problem. So let's go this way. God, the amount of times that I get poisoned from these things. It's amazing. It is just amazing. More bones. So every bone equals 1000 gold pieces. Which is kind of lucrative for a dungeon of this, uh, of this difficulty, but like I said earlier, um, the problem is that each bone that we turn in will tank our reputation and I don't want to do that before we get Light Magic Master because getting reputation once you lose it is a very very big chore. Okay, it's fine. Got another amulet. Good. And just keep enchanting these things. Flick this lever. I don't know what the levers actually do. Like I said, I, I usually skip this dungeon because it's kind of out of the way. But as with all the dungeons and, you know, or all of the other dungeons, it's pretty much flick all the levers and you're going to come to the end. There we go, there's another one. So the levers have to be in the down position. Wow. Three of our characters got poisoned. Amazing. There we go. Another lever in the down position. Okay. So this pitfall went up. Ow. Oh, hurt. Okay. There's a there is a lack of cobra eggs in this dungeon for some reason. I don't know why, but I kind of expected there to be cobra eggs here. You know, on second thought, I have no idea whether or not cobra eggs actually tank our reputation. Got it. That is possible. But I wouldn't expect them to. I'm oh, sorry, that, that took a while to... Um, <laughs> it took me a while to sort of... Sound out that thought. 
Okay. There we go. One more lever. Is it lever or lever? Let's call it switches from now on. Okay. Clicked all the switches, I think, more or less. So let's go down here on this side. So in terms of chests, not nothing much really. Not very good things either. Selkie. That's the quest item that we need. We got a lot of enchantable um, jewelry though. Which is nice. We might be able to get something good for us to wear. We weren't super lucky with our uh, with our enchants, I would say, but no, better than nothing, I guess. I don't think there are any levers here. Switches. Switches. On here there. Don't think they they're bleh. I don't think that there are any switches here. No switches here. I'm getting plenty of rings. So we should be getting to do... Okay, we opened the main hall. So we're gonna slowly inch forward. Aggro these guys bit by bit. So as to not fight them, you know, all at once. I wonder if I can aggro them by... Doing this. Nope. There I go. So we only aggro the ones that we actually hit, which is good. And we are out of spell points on our cleric. But I think we hit all of the switches. At least all of the ones that we had to. Can I pray here? No. Boo, this altar does nothing. How very, very boring. Okay. Oh. No! Oh. oh, we got poisoned. Oh, we got poisoned again. Um... Healy, touch yourself, Roderick, please. Do we have a potion of cure poison? We do. Well, not yet, but we do. Okay, good. A weakened? That's interesting. Who weakened you? Was that a witch doctor? If so, that is the first time that has ever happened to me. Which is incredible. Okay. Done with the dungeon, more or less. Let's just go down here. Open the cell with the cell key. And there we go, Cheryl. So, we haven't actually met... The person who wants us to rescue Cheryl. Because they are in Freehaven. But you know what, Cheryl is a... Uh, Cheryl is a cool, cool lass. She can just hang around with us and we will get to get her home safely. Get her to the uh, person that wants her to see back home safe and sound. 
Oh. I hate... Like, this dungeon's layout, I don't know, it's... It's... I mean, it's awesome, but also... <laughs> I can never wrap my head around it. <laughs> like, when you travel around it, it's all very, very strange. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Temple of Sansa, like you can see, it's fairly easy. Okay, let's go heal. I suppose you'll be wanting sad. Don't mind the rats. <laughs> there we go. Full mana, full health. Off to another adventure. Uh... Now this... This is going to take a while now, guys, so brace yourselves. <laughs> 